What's going on YouTube? It's Giga here bringing you some more Series 10 Wi-Fi battles with live commentary. For one final time, we are using the Veltal team as part of my new 5 rental team video. Make sure to check that out if you haven't already. Uh, but looking at my opponent's team, it is Zacian. So it is Incineroar with Amoongus, uh, Rillaboom, Urshifu, uh, Thunderous, as well as Zacian. So this is a little tricky, but thankfully we do have Shedinja. Uh, we do have to be just very careful about uh, Amoongus, potentially Incineroar. I mean, not Amoongus. Uh, we have to worry about Incineroar, potentially Rillaboom, and potentially Urshifu. So what? Um... I do kind of like uh, Toxapex in this game. We could do Toxapex, Yveltal with Shedinja, and Dragovish. I'm going to try this. Um, we do have to be wary of Amoongus, but at the same time, having access to... Uh, what is it called? Having access to... Yveltal really helps with that. The big scary thing would be uh, Amoongus next to Incineroar or Rillaboom for double fake out, as we will see Rillaboom next to Zacian. So definitely a little bit scary. Uh, not really the biggest fan of this lead. I don't really want to commit quite yet to uh, bringing out something like the Shedinja in the event that Rillaboom does have a way to deal damage into me. So I, I don't want to sacrifice Rillaboom or Yveltal. Let's go for a Scald onto Zacian. I'm going to bring out Dragovish. This is a, a little bit scary. Obviously, like, we do have to worry about um, them just going for something like a knockoff, calling the fake out. We will see the fake out, so that is uh, pretty expected, as well as the Behemoth Blade. So we might lose Shedinja. I mean, not Shedinja. We might lose Dragovish. Actually, wow, it takes that really well. Uh, a lot better than I would have thought. We will be able to connect the Scald, hoping for a burn. Service is no burn, but... Um, we do threaten with big damage from Dragovish. I would like to Scald again, and I'm going to go for an Icy, or an Ice Fang here, calling a Protect on Zacian. We will just see, actually, just a Grassy Glide. Um, I was hoping to, hold on, guess life had other plans as Behemoth Blade will come out into um, Toxapex. This shouldn't do too, too much. It's going to do a little bit more than I would have liked, but we will be able to uh, hit a Scald off once again, just trying to fish for that burn. No burn once again, uh, and we will, what, we will have to bring out, no, let's, Let's bring out Yveltal, because Yveltal can try and deal with um, Zacian. I mean, not Zacian, with Rillaboom. And I think if we can get rid of Rillaboom, we should be in a good position overall. Um, just because of the fact that we do have the chance to uh, bring out Shedinja pretty safely. So I'm going to go for an Oblivion Wing onto this Rillaboom, just hoping to get some good recovery. And also scare away Rillaboom, which is, like I said, a, a very big threat into uh, Shedinja. I think, yeah, let's see if they choose to stay in. We also do have to worry about Incineroar, but that will lead to um, the mind games of, am I going to go for a an ally switch? Am I going to go for a protect? I think Toxapex is in a good position to deal with Incineroar, especially because we do have uh, access to grassy terrain recovery. So let's see kind of how this uh, plays out. We will see another Behemoth Blade come out into um, Yveltal. We hope, oh, into Toxapex. Toxapex takes that very well. It is reassuring to see you no know, grassy glide as uh, Oblivion Wing will connect. And I'm hoping that it'll do 
Not as much. Okay, not as much as I would have liked. Um, we do see knockoff, so that is definitely scary. Onto Toxapex, so they will get rid of my Black Sludge. But come on, give us the burn. We do get a critical hit. We do get the burn as well, so that's huge. We do have to obviously now be very weary of Rillaboom, but what? We. Yeah, we don't have Protect on Toxapex because we opted for Wide Guard. We can go for a Recover. We go for the Recover and go for the Oblivion Wing onto Rillaboom. We actually probably are just going to lose Toxapex. Your, your what? Your play is to Grassy Glide in a Toxapex to KO with Rillaboom and then have Zacian go for a Behemoth Blade um, onto Yveltal. But because of Burn, we'll live. And then Rillaboom should be in range of a uh, Shadow Sneak from Shininja. Yep, so that's fine. We can go for the, um, what am I saying? Yeah, we should be able to pick up the knockout with, um, oh, and we have Sucker Punch on, uh, Yveltal. So I'm actually not worried about Rillaboom at all at this point, because this should, oh, it doesn't pick up the knockout. That's so close. But like I said, we do have access to, um, Sucker Punch, so that's, actually just not a big deal at all we could risk it with um shadow sneak which i'm actually i'm fine to risk shadow sneak right because you have you can't go for you cannot go for uh grassy glide in this position so what we can do actually is we shadow sneak rillaboom we hope it's enough for a ko and i feel like sucker punch i mean not sucker punch foul play should do a significant chunk onto this Sashian. The big fear though is if you have uh, Rillaboom in the, I mean not Rillaboom, Incin in the back, we will see a switch into, <laughs> there it is, Incineroar uh, itself. So what we, I don't think we can come back from this. Shadow Sneak is just gonna do uh, a little bit of chip onto this Incineroar. We will see the Behemoth Blade come out onto uh, Yveltal just for a little bit of chip, but it's actually a decent amount. We can hopefully pick up this knockout with File Play with the Burn. Just kidding, that's going to do not that much. But we can start pressuring with, um, what is it? We can start pressuring with things like Oblivion Wing to try and deal with this Incineroar and play mind games. So I'm gonna go, nope. I'm gonna go for a Protect here as well as an O-Wing onto Incineroar. It shouldn't do too, too much, but every little bit matters. And I'm hoping, I'm guessing you're just going for a Flare Blitz onto um, Shedinja as opposed to something like a Fake Out. We will see, yep, I'm guessing we will see Flare Blitz here as we can do a sizable chunk. So this suggests to me that you aren't uh, Assault Vest and we can definitely get uh, a good amount of HP back as we do see the Throat Chop come into Shedinja. So what we, Ally Switch? Let's go for an Ally Switch onto Shedinja as well as just uh, another Oblivion Wing onto this Incineroar. I'm not super worried about Zacian at this point we can potentially, nice, got the read right. We will recover uh, a pretty good amount of HP and they will take recoil from Flare Blitz. Nice, so, you, so Incineroar should go down to one more. Um, oh, just kidding, we do see a berry. So probably two more hits, but we can just keep going for, oh, good read, very good read. Oh, oh, that was into, Yveltal, that's fine. Um, we, Yveltal can Oblivion Wing into Incineroar, and I'm gonna Shadow Sneak into Zacian. I feel like this will pick up the knockout at this point. And then there's the big question of, do you make the read of Ally Switch, right? Cause you could, I know some people don't go for the double Ally Switch, but 
some yeah, I mean sometimes what you gotta you gotta play because now we're playing mind games right if you call this wrong um, we also still have the focus sash so that really is helpful as yep Zashian is gonna go down which means that Yveltal will be able to gain a decent amount of HP back from this Incineroar instead of having to worry about ugh, so close Ugh, I would have loved so now I just gotta hope that you flare blitz into Nope, we do see the throat chop into Shedinja. I think that was a uh, very good call on my opponent's part, but now now it happens, right? You can bring out Rillaboom. Rillaboom will reset Grassy Terrain. We can still go for damage. We can Oblivion Wing into Incineroar, as well as go for um, a Shadow Sneak onto Rillaboom. Yep, because Rillaboom is... that's That should be in uh, range of... Oh, 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 this is, this is tricky, right? Um, I'm going to go for a Snarl and a Protect, because the fear is you, you fake out the Yveltal and you target into Shedinja. So what I'm trying to do is... I do have special attack investment. Uh, yep, we do see that come out, and you should throat chop. <sighs> throat chop into. Oh, very smart. Not what I had expected. Uh, let's see what's in the back, because that's going to play a really big role. We will be able to beat this Rillaboom and KO it. We will see a Moongus. Um, so the billion dollar question is, can we snarl and yeah, let's try this. I'm hoping that from this range, snarl can pick up the KO, but even if they don't like Yveltal feels like it's in a good spot. Because Incense so low, Rillaboom, Rillaboom is so so low, and like Amoongus can't really do damage, and we do have access to recovery with, um, what is it called? With Oblivion Wing. That's the words that I'm trying to say. Incent is going to switch out. I think, yeah, the, the big thing is, will we be able to... We will see... Yeah, so the question is, will we be able to pick up the knockout with Snarl? Snarl onto Ensign. Ugh, Ensign is so bulky. That's that's bad. Um, Spore, okay, Spore onto. Oh, that's actually really bad. Mmm, mmm. What you you have to make a choice. This is this should still be fine. Like, Yveltal, Yveltal, what? We we know that we have to take a sleepy turn. We go for Snarl once again, right? Because you have to follow me and Throat Chop into that slot. We do just see the fake out. You actually can do this, which is uh, equally good because now you put the Yveltal to sleep. I, what? I, now I'm playing a game of when am I going to wake up? Because we know, we know Yveltal has to be asleep. We... What? We go for a Protect as well as an O-Wing onto Amoongus. We do have to worry about PP a little bit. This is... Uh, it's not ideal. We ideally would have done damage onto uh, Incineroar. Because we do kind of need that wake up as throat chop comes out we love to see that we can play mind games we will see a sludge bomb onto yveltal for its guaranteed sleep turn um we could play the ally switch game no i'm gonna go for shadow sneak here as well as an oblivion wing mm. let's go for foul play Foul play onto Ensign. Let's foul play onto Ensign. That should knock it out if we wake up. 
Unless this KOs, which pff, that, I think that did two damage. Okay, we do wake up. This is great. Foul play onto Ensign, picks up the knockout there. And now we're in a good position, right? Unless you call... Okay, perfect. I'm fine with Shedinja being put to sleep. Because um, you now will take a turn to go for Fake Out with... Um, fake Out and Spore onto Yveltal. Right, you have to go. You have to go for fake out spore, um, <clears throat> and I feel like I feel confident in this position. What we want to do is we just go for a protect to burn through a turn. We try to oblivion wing onto a mungus, right? Because now it comes down to when. When does what wake up? Because a mungus can't hurt Shedinja. We do see yep the fake out come out. Um, as well as the spore. That's awkward. Because, yeah, I'm not going to be asleep this turn. I could burn Rillaboom. I think that's my... Mm. I have to do this. I have to uh, wake up, hit the Protect... Because if, if I get the Protect, which I don't this turn, I was going to say we guaranteed win. Uh, Yveltal is still asleep. We will see the knockoff to KO Shedinja, which is fine. Now it comes down to sleep turns. Um, Sludge Bomb is going to do practically nothing into Yveltal. Like I said, the question is when do I wake up? If I wake up, if I wake up this turn and I'm able to... Oblivion Wing Rillaboom. I think we have this locked up. Right? Because then we can pick up the KO. So this, yeah, this is this is a, a big turn. Um, if I wake up, I win. If I don't, I lose. Which is, Amoongus is very frustrating for that reason. Well, yeah, let's see how this goes. I don't know if my opponent is playing to timer, uh, but we do have Oblivion Wing. Oh, thank God. Okay, so we will be able to uh, knock out Rillaboom and recover a ton of HP. We saw how little the Amoongus is doing into us. So there is a chance they go for a Pollen Puff, but they also could play to timer, right? Like we do see, okay, perfect. Sludge Bomb is gonna come out. And I think uh, barring a poison, which they don't get, we should be good because we do have uh, four Oblivion Wings left. You could play to Protect Stall. But even then, right, like this is this is going to do so much damage. You don't have um, a good way of damaging me back. And you do have to choose between uh, Poison and Sleep, right? So if you go for um, the Spore, I obviously don't have to worry about Sludge Bomb. Or if I get Poisoned with Sludge Bomb, you can't Spore me. So not over yet. But we will see Protect a little tricky for sure. Because we do, we do have a limited amount of um, Oblivion Wings. But if we, I think if we get this Oblivion Wing off, I do feel very good about things. This hopefully will pick up the K. Oh god, no it will not. Uh, three minutes until the battle ends. We do, okay, we do take a nap. That's, mm, oh, that's so tricky. That's so tricky. I, because now, now is what? A game of, I have to wake up. I have to wake up and hit the Oblivion Wing on the, the right turn. I have two left. So I have to hope the turn that I don't wake up. Okay, so they run. I, I think it still was a, um, not over at that point. It definitely was a little scary, but I mean, like Yveltal, Yveltal honestly did an incredible job there. I was really worried at a lot of points, but the fact that it was able to put on such constant pressure and recover with Oblivion Wing really pushed through. I know people are like, why use it? Yveltal when Galarian Moltres exists and it can do the same thing. Uh, Oblivion Wing, honestly, just such a difference, but 
really good uh, first battle and yeah let's just keep rocking and rolling and, and move to the next one all right battle number two and it is calyrex okay it is calyrex rillaboom entei with uh indeedee mineshaw and stack attacker we what mineshaw is scary but yveltal obviously i mean yveltal's in a very good position we only really have to worry about stack attacker but even then we do have toxapex for that so what um i'm pretty sure toxapex can live a uh what is it called a an astral barrage so we're good there i do like stack attack of i think given the fact that they potentially can bring a trick room option having a way to deal with that with our stack is important um what do we want in the last spot Dragovish, I think, is nice. Dragovish, they don't have access to, um... They don't have a Choice Scarf. I mean, not a Choice Scarf, a Tailwind user. Oh, we don't have speed, though. Um... I'm gonna bring Dragovish... No, I'm gonna bring... All right, we're gonna time out. I'm gonna bring Dravish. I don't think it's the best decision, but I think all things considered, it's fine. Uh, I think you, what, your main sort of lead is going to be probably, what, Mineshaw Stack Attacka with the idea that you wanna set up Trick Room as soon as possible, right? We do, in fact, see Calor okay, Calorex Mineshaw, that's fine with me. We obviously have access to we have Wide Guard on my are on a Toxapex as well as Sucker Punch to really guarantee we're in a strong position, and there really there's no counterplay from this lead for that, or even just a Scald onto Mindchow. We do, like I said, just have free Sucker Punch here as well. Mm. Cause you could switch into Lele. We can do this. This way, we do see the fake out come out onto Yveltal. That's fine with me. Wide guard to hopefully prevent an Astro Barrage as we do see oh, Expanding Force. Good read. Uh, Toxapex, oh, what a tank. Toxapex will take it. We can now threaten. Um, we now have access to Snarl onto Calyrex. Oh god, my fan is on. So sorry. I realized that there is... I'm sorry about the background noise for that. Bring out stack. Let's bring out stack. I like Toxapex too much. This way... This also does cover the potential switch into Indeedee. Um, to prevent something like a Sucker Punch. We will see Faint come out into Stack Attack Up. I think that that's... God. I love stack. Uh, Astro Barrage... Should have gone for a wide guard. I don't know how the two interact. Uh, but stack. Oh, stack's such a beast. Snarl does perfect. Double connect. We... Is that Focus Ash? Focus... Okay, Focus Ash on Calyrex. I think that that is fine with me. I... What? I'm expecting to see close combat from Mineshaw. I'm going to go for a Sucker Punch onto Calyrex as well as a... Protect on Stack Attacker? Let's protect Stack Attacker. Uh, I do want to preserve it, potentially for the end game. We will just see a switch out, I'm guessing, into Indeedee? Into their Stack Attacker. Um, we do need our Toxapex alive. I'm guessing you're trying to benefit off of Trick Room. Um, fail on the Sucker Punch as a close combat. Yep, will come out into... Uh, stack. I'm going to go for an O-Wing here and a swap out into... I don't love this. I know that Toxapex deals with stack very well. Um, I'm also sorry about the fan. I literally forgot it was on. My room gets very hot. Hopefully it wasn't super distracting. Close combat does come out into Toxapex. Toxapex is going to tank that very, very well. We 
Trick Room actually benefits us. So I would be very surprised if my opponent went for it. If anything, I expect to see a Rock Slide from Stack Attacker. Right, because that way... Rock Slide really yeah, is your best option in this scenario. Um, we do, yep, there it is. You are going to deal... Pretty good damage in the Toxapex. Um, I expect what? Calyrex? Ca you bring out Calyrex, you protect Calyrex with the idea that I sucker punch into it to try and finish me off with a uh, stack. Yep, there is Calyrex. I'm going to call a protect here. So I'm going to double up in a stack attack. Because if we if we get this right, we should KO sa stack with um, a foul play and a scald. This is a very, very risky lead. Oh, they just went for the expanding force. Come on, man. You don't do that. You go for... Uh. Mm, what? We need... We need them to miss a rock slide. Please miss. Yeah, with them missing, with them hitting, that um, is going to unfortunately be game because of the fact that we, oh wait, we still have stack. We still have stack and we still have Dragovish. Um, not totally over. What do we do? We, they are, okay, so they are lonely. We saw that with their boost. Um, Dragovish does have to live a hit. We do this, we Ficious Rend onto your stack. This is a very risky play. This is my only chance of coming back. We will see the Expanding Force single target into Dragovish. Please live. Oh, goat. So good. Sick. Okay, this is, this is potentially uh, something that we can come back from. We will set up the Trick Room here, which is great for us. Because now we are going to outspeed their Calyrex with um, Dragovish due to the fact that that's exactly what I planned for. So the question is, what do you have in the back? Haha! -ha! It's Rillaboom. Um, what do we do? We, 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 we. We go for a Rock Slide. And we go for a Ficious Rend onto Rillaboom. Right? Because if you fake out... No, that was bad. You Grassy Glide into Dragovish. Okay, so that's fine. We just need to hit this Rock Slide. Oh no, what did we miss? Oh, we missed Calyrex. Oh no, no, we hit Calyrex. We do get the attack boost. The big question is, will we survive a Grassy Glide? Oh, we should survive a Grassy Glide. So now we have a single target Gyro Ball into Rillaboom. So yeah, I'm fine just to go for Gyro Ball here. The question is, how much is Woodhammer going to do? They could run high horsepower, or we just pick up the knockout. So that was a scary battle for sure. There were definitely um, a lot of moments where things fell out of hand, and I think the fact that we were able to live with Dragovish was huge, and then we set up the Trick Room, which just uh, really put us in a strong position. Once again, I am sorry about the fan. Make sure to be better about that. I am curious about their team. Oh god, why is everything popping up now? Yep, we did see Focus Sash here. Nice. Pollen Puff is cool. Interesting to not bump up Astro Barrage. And no Protect either. They just have Nasty Plot, which uh, definitely had a lot of scary potential. Knock off Grassy Glide, Fake Out Woodhammer. I guess, yeah, you would have gone for a Woodhammer in the stack attacker. Entei didn't see that. I think that would have been scary. Um, Psychic Seed and DD. Salic, Salic Berry Mind Shell. You know, if you're going to put your Choice Scarf on, I mean, your Focus Sash on uh, Calyrex, makes sense. But yeah, uh, really good showcase. And let's see if we can keep that up as we play one more. All right, last battle, and it is Solgaleo. So this is a happy day for you, Veltal. It is um, Entei with uh, Grimsnarl, Entei, Grimsnarl, 
Solgaleo with Suicune, Serena, and Tapu Lele. So you really don't like Sucker Punch. Um, Dragovich is great. I say everything is great. Uh, I like Rillaboom. Rillaboom, because I need an answer for Suicune. And I can't actually rely on Rillaboom because of the fear of Serena. I also can't really rely on Shedinja because of Sunseal Strike. I could do Dragovish with Yveltal. That feels pretty safe. Um, I could bring Stack again, right? We can try and set up Trick Room if need be. Toxapex, what does Toxapex do? Does Toxapex do anything? Maybe? No. Shedinja, not really. Rillaboom. Yeah, not really, because we only have, um... Uh, let's bring Rillaboom, right? We have, we have enough answers for Serena that I'm not super, super worried. I think one thing to be potentially afraid of is Choice Scarf Entei. But at the same time, we do have... Um, we, I mean, we have Yveltal, I mean, not Yveltal, we do have, um, Dragovish, but we do have to worry about getting burned with Sacred Fire, so that's scary. We will see Tapu Lele, Tapu Lele next to Suicune, um, I really just like Ficious Rend. I think Ficious Rend is perfectly fine here. Onto Tapu Lele, I don't really care too, too much about Suicune. It is scary, but, like, not the worst thing in the world. Especially if we have ways to change the terrain. So I, what? I'm fine to Ficious Rend, Lele, and then bring out Rillaboom? Let's bring out Rillaboom. We'll reset the terrain. We can potentially see if they brought Serena. I, like I said, I just need to get rid of Lele uh, for my Dragovish in the endgame. I don't, I mean what? You could protect. Protect would be smart, Protect and Tailwind, but then we have access to Fake Out and Ficious Friend. So we have a way of potentially making that work in our favor, which, yep, we are going to see a Protect come out from the Tapu Lele. Smart, as we can go for a Ficious Friend onto that spot and expect to see a Tailwind, yeah. So Tailwind is going to come out. Question is, did you bring Serena in the back? I... I'm going to cover for the Serena in the back. Does that cover for Serena in the back? Let's go for this. If you brought Serena... Oh, is it... Serena coming into that slot? Oh. Okay. This should be Solgaleo. Right? Yep. Solgaleo comes out. We can... We do get a U-turn off, which isn't going to do that much. Stack it. What do I want to do with Stack Attack? Uh, we do have Foul Plate onto Solgaleo. It's a pretty good chip. I'll take that. Oh, they have a Tailwind up. Um, let's bring out Yveltal. We can go for a Foul Play in the event that you want to... What? If you switch out Grimstarl into Lele... We set up Trick Room and Foul Play into Solgaleo. I'm guessing... I feel confident that that um, Yveltal can take a hit from Solgaleo. And Foul Play, like I said, does cover for the option. You could switch out... Okay, just go for a Reflect. That's fine. I'm guessing a Sunsteel Strike. So I've learned a lot about Solgaleo. Uh, it is now at minus one. I'm hoping that because of that, we... Okay, and it's Life Orb, so we don't have to worry about um, Focus Ash. It already took Chip as well. Sick. Okay, so we got rid of Solgaleo. We did lose our answer to Tapu Lele. Um... We bring out Fish. We, we just pressure... Okay, great. You bring out Suicune. That's fine. Um, we have, yeah. I don't actually know how I'm gonna beat Lele in this endgame. 
We Ficious Rend Grimmsnarl and Oblivion Wing Suicune. Snarl sucks, but not the worst thing. Um, the question is, Dragovish should still outspeed Grimmsnarl. Perfect. And I'm pretty sure we should still get the full Ficious Rend boost. God, I hate this game. Spirit Break into Yvelta. Okay, into Dragovish. Dragovish lives, which is uh, fine. Oblivion Wing comes out. This is going to be at minus one. So, oh god. <laughs> How many turns of Tailwind are left? If Tailwind ends this turn, we're in good shape. If Tailwind does not, which I don't think it does, we're in bad shape. Oh, sick. Okay. Tailwind Peter's out. We have a Ficious Rend onto Grimmsnarl, uh, as well as an Oblivion Wing onto this Suicune. And then we do have Rillaboom in the endgame versus Tapu Lele, as well as Suicune. And we should be able to set the terrain, um, which is huge. We do see Sucker Punch. God, I hate this game. I really do. Uh, that is, dude, that is really bad. Um, Tailwind comes out. We can, what? We, we, we bring out Rillaboom here. Oh God, they had Sucker Punch. That's, that's bad. Um, grass is gone. We bring out Rilla. We do a foul play. We can go for foul play onto Grimmsnarl to not care about the, um, what is it called? To not care about the special attack drops. We can go for a Grassy Glide on a Suicune. I think that that's still fine. And then we, let's just O-Wing the Grimmsnarl. I think that that's fine. We do have to worry about, um, oh wow, what? Oh, they didn't switch out. Oh God. Oh god, Suicune is so bulky. That's so bad. Um Snarl comes out. Yeah, Yveltal is is not not doing well right now. Um We are at like minus 800. Spirit break into Yveltal. Oh my god. Do I even just like bother looking at how many drops I've taken at this point? You know, not, not the worst. Uh, Sucker Punch is unaffected. We should be able to KO Suicune at this point. You could switch out into Lele. That's what, yeah, you switch out to Lele, that guarantees Suicune lives. Um, minus three, Jesus Christ. Let's still go for a Grassy Glide here, as well as a Sucker Punch. No, because if you switch out in the Lele, if you switch out in the Lele, you switch out in the Lele in the Grim Snarl spot. Let's still go for it. Okay, that's fine. That was actually very smart. I have to give them that. Uh, Yveltal should be able to live a hit. So, yeah, we're going to fail, unfortunately. Uh, Spirit Break will come out into Yveltal. Yveltal does hold on. Not by much, but enough. Um, oh, is it living? Oh, God, I hate this game. We hit here. We... They have Tailwind up, right? Last turn of Tailwind. I say we go for a Snarl. I don't expect to get it. You could target. Okay, so what I'm thinking is you target into. Oh, God, you can. Sad. We have to take a hit from Lele. This is going to do a ton. This probably is going to KO Rillaboom. Uh, we do pick up the KO onto Tapu Lele, but Grimmsnarl does have access to Sucker Punch. So, I think because of that fact, we actually cannot win this as a result. This is hard. I'm trying to think of what... 
Yeah, because you... Oh, no, 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 no. You cannot... This is... Yeah, I mean, it doesn't matter, right? Because you... Snarl, interesting. If we... Nope. I was going to say, if we live, potential comeback right there. Uh, that was close. I think... For I mean, Solgaleo having close combat, I think, really is what, what did it. Because if we had been able to set up stack attack of, I think, yeah, what is, what is this Solgaleo spread? Entei with uh, Assault Vest, yeah, very standard there. Shock to not actually see that. Grim Snarl, Spirit Break, yeah. What is the item on this thing? Light, oh yeah, we saw Life Orb. Yeah, close combat, not what I was expecting. Maybe it's common on Solgaleo. I just don't see enough Solgaleo to really know. I'll go off very Suicune with just no bulk and it's just that good. Ugh. Roar, also scary. Serena, uh, Tapu Lele, yeah. I think if we, oh, and Focus Ash, so it didn't even matter. I think if we had managed to preserve stack and like had accounted for that we would have been in a much better position because then we yeah stack would have really helped in the end game but i mean overall very well played to my opponent uh, i've had a lot of fun using this team make sure to check it out if you haven't already plan is starting tomorrow to use uh different teams i'm thinking maybe the zekrom team just to, to have some fun with it but um we'll see also make sure to check out the afternoon videos for other teams and yeah until next time i hope uh, all of you are wonderful and i'll see you then